Hey guys, today I'm sharing how to master folding ingredients with just four simple steps. So this mixing method is often used when you want to mix something really fluffy and fragile such as mousse or sponge butter, which contains a lot of whipped eggs, meringue, uh, whipped cream or something that can easily collapse when you mix vigorously. So you want to mix gentle but fast at the same time while the condition is still good. And that's when you want to mix this way which is folding ingredients. Once you go into the journey of learning pastries, this is something you definitely want to master to really step up your skill as a baker or pastry chef. I was inspired to make this video because I see that more and more people recently find my Genoa's cake video and actually has been baking it at home. So thank you so much. I hope that after you watch this video, you bake it again, practicing this move, and hopefully you see better result. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. How about you? <laughs> so my first step is how you move your spatula. You write J with the spatula, scoop up all the ingredients so that they blend really evenly. But what I see really often that I do not recommend so much is this. So you write the J and then you flip right here. This looks really uncomfortable and it takes, you know, a lot of move. I do not recommend. Think that this is your hand and this is your wrist and this is your arm. When you have to use your hand to fold ingredients, you do this. You cannot twist. You know, you have to put it back. So just like that, you gotta put it back. And my second tip is to turn your bowl each time you fold ingredients. Just by turning your bowl each time you fold, you can really mix Evenly, if you do not move your bowl, basically you're mixing the same parts over and over and it's not mixing well. You can kind of move your spatula like this, but it's for me, it's much easier to turn the bowl. Do not change anything with your spatula or hand. You don't have to move around. You just turn your bowl each time. And my third tip is to fold fast and not to fold really slow. Some of the ingredients need a speed to really let them blend. So for example, when you make chocolate mousse, you need some sort of good speed to let the ganache and whipped cream blend well. When you are mixing this slow, eventually before they are combined, the ganache kind of gets set with cold whipped cream and before they get branded, your ganache turns into like small pieces and they will not look so smooth by the time you finish. For sponge cake as well, when you mix sponge butter, if you speed up, your flour can blend it with a butter much more easily. You will create much smoother butter. And also when you take too much time, eventually they can lose more volume. So by folding fast, you can keep the better condition. That way it will taste better. And my last tip is to make sure cleaning up the side and the bottom really well on the way. When you are folding like this, you are basically cleaning up the bowl. But at the same time, you know, you see some ingredients are kind of stick to the bowl. They may be some parts that's not mixed well. So I'll recommend to clean up the side, flip over and check the very bottom and then do the folding motion again. So always as you go, keep checking. All right, so to really input how you can move using all those four steps, the best way is just to watch, I believe. So first, let me show you how I mix my mousse. I made a chocolate mousse video before, but this time I'm showing the full version with no cut. Just keep in mind the four steps Make as you sure watch. that flip your bottom. Clean up your spatula and bowl on the way really important a lot of times a lot of chocolates like sinked on the bottom And add the 
last of whipped cream. Next, let's watch how I mixed Genoa's sponge cake butter. I baked it for this video. This time I did a half batch of my original recipe. So I used two eggs to bake one six inch. So just as a reminder, don't get discouraged even if you cannot fold right or fast enough. I promise just keep trying, come back to this video when you need to and you'll get better each time, just like any other things. So I'm hoping to go to strawberry picking with Ray sometime soon and hopefully using this fresh sponge with the fresh strawberries from the farm we can make like a little strawberry shortcake together. So I'll probably store this in the freezer for that use. Hello? How are you? Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video. Today um, the video was very simple. It was very different in my opinion. Um, usually I focus on how to make certain type of desserts, but today I'm more focused on skills or how to move. I hope you like it. If you did, please give me a like, give me a feedback, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Good luck with your baking, and I'll see you in my next video.